You know, we can talk about the political parties, we can talk about the democratic clubs, you can talk about the dollars, but at the end of the day, the thing that wins big races is people power. It's people just like you, who have kids, who have family, who have jobs. I'm a tenant organizer in Mount Vernon. I go to meetings, and mostly poor people in Mount Vernon, poor people, a lot of people of color, I go to a tenant's meeting. And I asked people to raise their hand. I said, who here has made a contribution of $5,000 in a recent election? <laughs> people look at me like I got two, three heads. And then I explained, I said, well, you may not be able to do that, but your landlord probably can. If he hasn't made a donation like that, he's probably contributed to some donations like that with groups. Right. And think about the different ways that big money donors could have blocked something you cared about. Who in here cares about elder and long-term care? Oh, okay. Oh. What a surprise, right? There are special forces who say right now that will cost they, us too much money. Yeah, New York State should have a rule that genetically modified food should like have a label. I go into the supermarket and Acme or whatever's whatever you're going to, it should say that. Uh, not so much. Now, the assembly person who said. Oh, hey, geez, you, the, the grocery manufacturer people were just in here just five minutes ago, and they convinced me it's way too expensive mm -hmm. for them to put different labels on things in the supermarket. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me. I go to the supermarket all the time. It's not hard at all. He says, well, they gave me this, and he, he's sharing all the papers with me. And I go out the door going, I was naive. What I didn't realize is they'd given a couple grand for his campaign. I came in with a smile on my face and I once gave $38 million. What did they get, guys? They got more funding for charter schools and less right. for public schools. And we've been fighting for um, well, we, um, our safe patient ratio bill. We've been fighting for 10 years for this bill. And we're getting, we're getting momentum, we're getting up the hill, and then we fall off. But this is our year, and we want to get health care for all. We believe in Medicare for all. We believe in leveling the playing field. All right, let's keep moving. Healthcare industry gave $11 million. What did they get, guys? Did they get other care? Nope. 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 They got soaring profits for insurance corporations while the New York Health Act went to all. We said, you know what? It makes no sense to allow these companies to move this work overseas and then you're giving them a tax subsidy and you're giving them uh, a break here and there you know infrastructure break you're giving you're, you're paying for infrastructure that they're not paying back in on taxes so why don't we do this why don't we say if you move those jobs overseas you lose those tax incentives you lose those subsidies you lose you lose those infrastructure infrastructure breaks we feel if you do that, those jobs will probably likely stay here or won't move as fast. So we introduced in 2010. What do you think happened? Died in, Died in committee, New York State Senate. And we introduced it the year after that. What happened? Died and the year after that? Died and last year? Died in committee. It died in committee every Seven billionaires, seven billionaires give $30 million. $30 million. And what do they get? A luxury yacht, a yacht tax break. What's it? Who has a yacht? <laughs> it goes hand in hand. So that's why fair elections matter. Because too much money is in